My greatest hope for you is that music can be a place to escape your day-to-day activities. It's a wonderful outlet for creativity and expression. So like, I haven't figured out what music's gonna be in my life, if it's gonna be a career or if it's gonna be just a hobby. When I joined the academy in second grade, I learned uh, how to play guitar from scratch. Now I'm learning a bunch of technical stuff like the Crazy Train solo and Bohemian Rhapsody. This is my newest guitar I just bought to use for Act Two this year. And we'll see how this season goes. The intention for creating the Appleton Music Academy uh, was to create a place that would be easy for someone to find a well-qualified teacher, somebody that would be a good fit for them, uh, both on a musical level but also on a personal level. At the Academy, we match students with teachers that will best fit their needs. So uh, all of our teachers have been recommended personally to come teach. Uh, they've been interviewed, they've been screened. Uh, I know they're great educators, great performers. Most importantly, they're really good people. I'm interested in, in students having a great interaction with their teachers. What, what I really think um, is great with learning guitar is that it is a fun instrument and it's, um, it's not something that you get to learn in school. Yeah, I think overall it's just a very, um, highly interesting instrument. It's like when a new student grabs a drumstick for the first time, they tense up and they feel like they have to hit the drum so hard and then they realize that the more effortless they make it, the better the drum sounds. And then fr from there, it's just an uphill trajectory. I can't believe it's been four years since I started taking lessons at the Appleton Music Academy. Time has flown by and it's been a blast. Uh, I didn't know a thing about playing drums when I started here, but I had a desire to want to play in my church's worship team and uh, was referred here by a friend and have, within nine months, I was skilled enough to be able to join the worship team. I have been very um, impressed with his knowledge and his teaching methods and um, it, and he makes it fun and he makes it interesting and I love to practice and I love my lessons and it's just been a really great experience. Uh, parents are welcome to sit in on lessons if that's best for the student and the parents. Um, you can also wait in one of our lounges. Um, oftentimes parents will drop their students off and run errands as a parent myself. I know that that can be a convenient time to get things done. Um, also, uh, we try to schedule multiple lessons, multiple kids all at the same time. So it's one trip in and one trip out. So nice and quick and, and um, we want to make it as easy for you as possible um, to get music lessons. Music education is really important to our family. I've found particularly with my kids that they've really developed a sense of confidence that I've appreciated in ways that go beyond just being able to play the violin in the case of my son and my daughter. And, and uh, play the piano um, in the case of my son. They have went in front of an audience in a recital, in front of their family, in front of other families that they don't know and seen other musicians. And I've seen them collaborate with each other, which is just tremendous and special when you can see your kids actually making music with each other or with other kids, um, exchanging ideas with many of the different teachers that uh, Mr. Ryan brings in to the academy, which is incredible. And outside of the academy, the kids have this sort of spring in their step that is really neat to see because they have this confidence in having a skill that they may not have otherwise had. So for me as a dad, it really kind of makes me feel like I'm doing a good job, which is pretty special. And, and music is what's allowed us to do that. Ah, recitals, yes. One of my favorite times of the year. Uh, it's a great, great, great opportunity to watch people play um, in front of a group of, uh, actually a very friendly group of people. It's all family and friends. Um, and it's been amazing to see some of these kids grow. Um, we've got students that I, uh, I think have been in for nine years now. And thinking back to some of those first recitals where they're just figuring out how to play one note <laughs> in relation to another, and now they're playing full-on songs. Uh, it, it's it's pretty pretty fantastic. Beautiful. Cool. Do right hand.
Appleton that much? Mm -hmm. My two daughters have found a wonderful home here at the Appleton Music Academy. They both are taking piano lessons and have just grown, but most importantly, they're having fun and their joy and love of music has just increased since we've been here. I feel that learning piano sets you up really well with the fundamentals to move forward in any other direction musically. Taking lessons through the Appleton Music Academy was a really formative experience in my high school years. I had the amazing opportunity to study with a teacher on marimba, um, and through that I really gained the experience I needed to have opportunities both in high school, in my youth symphony, um, played a concerto in high school, and ultimately got into college here at Lawrence University and none of that would have been possible without the help of a teacher through the Appleton Music Academy. The Academy is not business first, it is music first, and part of making great music is having great relationships, uh, both with the students and with the families. Every month we offer an hour of free instructional time uh, for each of the instruments so that students can use that time to get extra, um, ex extra instruction from their teachers or if they've got a performance coming up that they want some extra time on. Uh, we want to offer that just as, as a way to uh, make this experience more worthwhile here and make it easier for, um, for folks to get what they need out of their time. I'm so happy that I'm playing violin and my, I'm so happy that my brother's playing piano and my brother's playing violin because I have a big brother. <laughs> it's always so worthwhile to watch students leave their lessons with a big, big smile on their face. Um, it's a good sign to me that, number one, the lesson went well, uh, which obviously meant the music went well and it just sends somebody off for the rest of the week with a really great opportunity for growth and that really is the most important thing that they feel good about what they did they know what to work on next and are excited about it i've been playing this for about two months now uh, while working 40 hours a week full time uh, i'm also back in school getting a bachelor's degree in computer science and honestly this is my priority right now <laughs> aside from everything else like for me, this is like the most important part of my week. I look forward to Monday night. Um, I haven't played for 25 years, and getting back into this has been like the best gift ever. Every time I pick this violin up, I'm picking up a part of myself. And there is no word in the English language that can really describe the happiness and contentment I feel when I play this violin. I'm really proud of all the students and all the teachers here at the Appleton Music Academy. So if you're watching this video and you even have the smallest thought that you want music in your life, or if you're a parent and you know that your child would love to have music in your life, or you yourself, you've got to pick up the phone and call Ryan. I think it was a good lesson. Time to go.